a word from God or the word of God. We find ourselves in Luke. God brought me here. I said, okay, Lord. I went through a lot of scriptures and things of that nature. I thought I had it, then I didn't. Then I thought I had it again, then I didn't. Then I thought I had it one more time. But guess what? Then I didn't. And then God begins to reveal what he wanted to minister to his people on today. We find ourselves in Luke chapter number 8. It says, verse number 5, it says, The sower went out to sow his seed. To sow his seed. We talked about this seed being the word of God or a word from God. We see that in verse 11. And then 1 Peter it talks about a, an incorruptible seed. A corruptible seed and an incorruptible seed. Now, incorruptible seed is a seed that is not going to diminish. Or a seed that is not going to rot out or is not going to decay from age. Let me give you an example. When I was 19, I couldn't read. I gave this testimony before. I couldn't read. I was probably reading at about a sixth grade level. One day I was praying. I said, Lord, I don't want to be stupid or dumb. You're going to have to help me. God planted a seed in me and said, read my word. Yes. Now, 13 years later, that seed is bringing forth fruit. That's why I'm able to preach the word of God to you today. Yes. Come on, Pastor Mike. He planted a seed that even 10, 20 years from now, that seed is still going to be effective in my life. Yes. See, when you look to other stuff other than God, that seed ain't going to last but, but a second. Sometimes it's good to hear, but sometimes you don't need a word of what you want to hear. You need what you need. Don't always give me a word of what I want to hear. Tell me what I need in my life in order for me to grow in Jesus. I need a seed. God began to show me, I began to look and say, okay, Lord, the seed is your word. Or a word from you. Then I began to look up what a seed was. The natural, the natural seed, I'm not talking about the word, when I talk about a real seed, is a living organism which has the ability to grow. A seed is, is, it has three basic parts. It has an embryo. It's an immature plant which in a new plant will grow under the proper conditions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has its own supply of nutrients for the embryo. Don't this sound familiar? Then it has a seed coat which protects the embryo from mechanical injury or drying out. The seed that God wants to implant in us is something that is alive. And it's going to give, it's going to birth something inside of us. It already comes with what it needs. Come on, say it comes with its own nutrients. The real seed already comes with its everything that it needs. Doing good, teach. Doing good. Come on. Amen. Oh Jesus. St. John chapter 6, verse 63. You don't have to go there, I'll just read it. It says, It is the spirit that quicketh, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. I know you've been trying to figure out what's been going on. God gave me a seed once before. But as soon as he gave me that seed, it seems like all hell broke loose. What they call it? The trimester of your pregnancy or something? You was having morning sickness and all types of stuff. Is that what it's called? You was having all types of things going on and you couldn't figure out why because that thing was being birthed on the inside of you and ready to spring up and grow. Come on now! You're going to have to go through some stuff for that thing to grow, really. Yes. I don't 
don't know nobody that went through nine months of pregnancy and was still the same size when they started. You gonna get tired? You gonna say, I can get this thing out of me? I wish you would've never gave me the seed in the first place. If I knew I'd have had to go through what I had to go through, I would've never asked for the seed in the first place. Come on, preacher. Jesus. My God, my God, my God. But the seed has life. Life more abundantly. Oh, Jesus. I said, okay, God. The seed has life. And then God began to take me back to Luke. That's where we are. And God began to show me that he wants everyone to have this seed. He don't want not one person to be left out. We see that in verse number five. It says, a sower went out to sow his seed. It is such an honor and a privilege that God would take time out to go out to sow a seed in a wretch like me. I am not worthy of a seed from God. But he understands in order for me to function and to flow and to become the man or the woman of God that he desires us to be, we need a seed. The sword went out to sow his seed. Mm. Mm. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Again, you don't have to go there. Just write it down. We're not going to go through all these scriptures. It says, but he answered and said, it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. 